There's a kind of magical feeling when you first find a patch of Genothelus mushrooms. Part of it's probably because they're magic, or scientifically speaking, they contain psilocybin, psilocin, and some other interesting compounds. Not only are these little guys a gateway to meeting your god, but they're kind of like the perfect mushroom embodiment of fall, all pumpkin-like and matching the leaves with their vibrant oranginess. They do age like milk, though, and can get a bit nasty. These old ones have been sitting out in the sun and rain for at least a few days past their prime. Anyways, let's get into it and take a closer look at what we have. This is what we're looking for. Younger mushrooms with their light, purplish, scaly caps. They're just so nice to look at. These bad boys are Gymnopolis luteifolius for sure. You can ID these pretty easily, or at least I think they're easy compared to the other Gymnopolis species due to their unique color. For those of you that are new to the genus Gymnopolis, the first hint is going to be the metric ton of rusty spores dumped everywhere. Gymnopolis mushrooms are known for just dumping spores like crazy. These older mushrooms are covered in evidence of their sporulating prowess. So what's different with Gymnopolis luteifolius is that the caps are typically a nice purple color, which looks quite different from the other species. This can vary depending on where they are in life, though. These mushrooms came up in an exposed site during a cool, cloudy, wet period, but it's been sunny for days now, so some of them are looking pretty shot. Although they don't look exactly like the second flush of little buttons, you can tell these older ones are the same species by the presence of small scales on the cap surface, which are a little more obvious at the center of the cap. The younger ones that haven't had a chance to develop yet are more of the species' characteristic coloring. They're also pretty densely scaly. When they're small like this, it's a good time to take a look at the partial veil as well. The veil is what covers the gills of the developing mushroom. And this one is really thick and webby. They should look fluffy rather than like a solid skin. This is what wowed me though. The interior flesh is crazy purple colored. Like, I didn't realize that they were this purple inside, but there you go. It's pretty purple. If you were confused somewhere along the way, this coloring will probably be the thing that either changes your course or ends up being the nail in the coffin that gets you to Gymnopolis luteifolius. But we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves, and make sure to look at everything else, too. The gills in nice mushrooms should be a yellow color, and attached to the stem. They may end up going orange by the time you find them, since they dump so many spores. The stem on this species is fibrillose, looking like it's composed of many small fibers. It can take on some pinkish hues, but they end up fading to an orangey color on most of these. There should also be a rusty ring on the stem when mature. This is formed by remnants of the partial veil that covers the developing mushrooms. As spores are deposited, they cling to it and give it its color. This isn't always visible since it can rub off pretty easily, but it's an important identifying feature of Gymnopolis mushrooms. It's also something that can happen with Gallerina mushrooms too, so you really need to be careful and observe everything else. If anything doesn't match completely, it could be a Gallerina, so just toss it. It's not worth it. Looking back at an immature mushroom, there's definitely some bruising going on at the base of this one, but not in any older ones. I'm not sure if this says anything about the psilocybin content, or if it's some other reaction. Lastly, if you absolutely need to make sure it is what it is, Gymnopolis luteifolius will have a bitter taste. For me, it doesn't hit right away, but it does after a few seconds of chewing a piece. Then you spit it out because you don't want to do anything illegal. And besides, you still gotta make it back home. So yeah, this is just a quick look at Gymnopolis luteifolius. If you're gonna try looking for these, you could look just about anywhere. Look around wood chips, logs, or standing dead trees, either hardwood or coniferous. This is a pine log, and they don't seem to have any problems eating it. Apparently, they've been found growing on pressure-treated wood as well, which is just insane, and just another reason to love Genopolis mushrooms. Alright, well, that's all I have for this one, so be safe, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. Bye!